Hello everyone. In this video, we'll look at some opening blunders beginners make in their initial days. Now look at this position. In this position, white played e5, and guess what? This is not a very good move here as now black has some advantage in this position after white played this move e5. Now let's look at this game from the starting. The game started with e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, and now e captures d4, knight captures on d4, knight takes back, and then queen captures on d4. Now black played here d6, then knight to c3, knight f6, bishop to d3, and then bishop to e7, and then comes this e5 from white. Now what's wrong here? There is simply d captures on e5 and then queen takes back. Now black will simply castle and then bishop to e3 from white. Now why this move? Bishop to e3 is very important. Because you have to safeguard your king. Now black will reply with bishop to d6 with a tempo. You have to move your queen. So queen to d4 and then knight to g4. And now there are some nasty tactics from black. And if white decides to castle on the king's side, then my friend, black wins on the spot. So pause the video and find the winning combination for black here. Yes, you're right. There is bishop to h2 check, now king to h1. Then there is queen to h4. You have to move your rook to make space for your king. And then bishop e5 check. You lost your queen, my friend. And then king to g1. Queen h2 check, king to f1, and bishop takes your queen. So this game is lost for white. However, the game would have been alive if white castles on the queen side. Then black knight will simply take your bishop, you take back, and rook to e8, attacking your queen, queen d2, queen to f6, king to b1, and bishop to f5, and my friend, this is a balanced position. Though black has a slight edge in this position, but as a white, this is defendable at the moment. Do subscribe for such amazing content.